Chevron paying the price for one of the worst refinery fires in Bay Area history. The plan to make sure this never happens again. The thick black smoke sent thousands to the hospital. Refinery workers were lucky to escape with their lives. KPI X5 Juliet Goodrich on the safety upgrades now in the works. Juliet. Well, Ken, here it is. This is a settlement order. The main priority, work safety at the refinery and also the safety to residents in the surrounding area. You know, that day, 15,000 residents in Richmond went to the hospital with breathing issues because of the fire. August 6, 2012, thick black smoke fills the sky at the Richmond refinery, caused by a corroded and leaky pipe. A vapor cloud engulfed 19 workers who were fixing the leak, and within minutes, vapor ignited into a wall of flames. Teacher Hernandez, mother of twins, remembers it like it was yesterday. Like you can just see like a cloud, just a cloud of smoke, like it's dark. Five years later, state and local agencies have stepped up safety procedures as a result of the fire, with Chevron agreeing to change its emergency response and safety standards. Now, Chevron has agreed to replace all piping that is in sulfidation service. Clyde Trombettis is with Cal OSHA, Occupational Safety and Appeals Board. You know, we ended up rewriting um, you know, the regulations. We've enhanced um, you know, the regulations. We require industry to justify their decision-making process. That was never done before. The Chevron settlement includes Chevron agreeing to replace carbon steel piping with chrome alloy, exceeding current safety requirements for refineries, extensive emergency response training for all workers and contract workers, paying penalties of more than a million dollars, and donating $200,000 to job partnership training to prepare students for future work in the refinery industry. Richmond residents who live near the refinery and who were here during the refinery fire say this settlement is a step in the right direction, especially since it exceeds the state's industry standards for safety. But despite future changes, there still is some distrust in the community. Is this good enough for you when you hear the changes in place? Yeah, it, it is good enough. It's being... It's, a, it's not good enough. It's a step towards good enough, I would say. And we did talk to some employees who didn't want to go on camera, but they do say that they are relieved with this agreement that's in place and of that work stoppage order. If they spot something that's going on at the refinery that needs to be stopped immediately, they have the willingness to do so and the okay given this agreement. Ken? Yeah, Juliet, there was some infrastructure there that needed to be fixed. When will those pipes be replaced? Mm hmm. Well, we're talking about corroded pipes. In fact, there is a photo that shows one of them that was corroded back when it happened in 2012. We can show that. What they're doing now is they replaced some of them back in 2013 that needed that extensive replacement. And now they're going through miles and miles of pipe as we speak to get every one of them replaced. And they hope to have that done by January 1st, 2019. All right, Juliet Goodrich live in Richmond tonight. Thank you, Julia.